Hello everyone, good afternoon. It's morning here in Ogden, Utah, but I know it's afternoon in, um, in Ghana. Welcome to our slideshow today. Um, I'm, my name is Iwana and I work at Weber State University. I'm really excited uh, to you know, talk about Weber State today. Um, thank you for taking the time to come to our presentation. Um, as he mentioned, please, um, you know, write any questions in the chat. I also wrote my email address. I know you might have questions later. You can always feel free to email me as well. Um, so Weber State University, we are located in Ogden, Utah. Um, that's in the western part of the United States. And I'm going to start with just a little video for you all. In each of us, there is a dream, flickering with hope, a spark, a vision beyond boundaries, calling with a challenge. When dream meets opportunity, we ignite the power within. Idea turns to action. Concept becomes commitment. Always in pursuit of the dream. When doubt comes and darkness looms, we throw off fear, digging deep. Through long, lonely hours, we practice and perfect always in pursuit of the dream. We find an open hand to grasp, then reach out with our own. Falling, we are lifted. Rising, we lift each other. Connections strengthen us. Dedication drives us. Discouragement does not dim our flame. Shouting from a mountaintop, ever upward, ever bright, the pursuit starts here. So yes, everyone, I hope you all dream big um, and I hope your dream will start to come true when you come to Weber State. Um, this is a picture of our campus. We have a beautiful campus at Weber State. Um, we Here in Utah, it's a really great place to live. We have the mountain and we have the desert. So if you like nature, you definitely will you are going to be in the best place. Um, Ogden, it's a smaller town. It has about 80,000 people and it's 45 minutes north of Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City is the capital of the state of Utah and also where the international airport is. So basically when you choose Weber State, you get both of the worlds. You get a smaller town with a really safe and family oriented community here in Ogden, but you also get the proximity to a big town like Salt Lake. So I really feel like we have a lot to offer here in Ogden. Why you should choose Weber State University? So I know um, everyone who wants to go to college, they want to go to college because they want to get a good job after they graduate. So I'm going to tell you why you should choose Weber and how Weber is going to help you achieve that dream of getting a great education that will um, allow you to get a good job once you graduate. So at Weber State, you are going to get a good education, but at the same time, you're not gonna break the bank. So for education in the United States, our cost of the tuition is just a little bit over 16,000, which is really affordable for studying in the United States. And we have a lot of scholarship for international students. As, as a matter of fact, 80% of our international students, they start with a scholarship. So it's very rarely that you will not be getting a scholarship. Um, and these are kind of the amounts of the scholarship that you can get. The highest scholarship is $8,000, and this scholarship will cover half of the tuition cost. So as I mentioned, our tuition is just a little bit over 16,000. And if you get an $8,000 scholarship, your tuition cuts down to just a little bit over 8,000, which I think it's really great to come and study here in the United States. So our application process for scholarship, it's really easy. And these are the scores. So if you have um, between 60 and 100, you're guaranteed to get an $8,000 scholarship or if you have an equivalent of at least 2.5 US GPA. 
So the $8,000 scholarship is divided in two semester, fall and spring semester. And as long as you maintain a 2.5 GPA here at Weber State, which is really not hard to do if you focus on your studies, that scholarship will stay for, with you for four years. So until you graduate your undergraduate studies. So we really believe that we are a great option and we are really competitive when it comes to cost and when it comes to scholarships that we offer. Another reason to, to choose uh, Weber State is because we have a lot of program, we have a lot to offer. We really believe that we have something here for everyone. It's really hard not to find something that you want to study at Weber State. And we also have a lot of opportunities for students to learn outside of their classroom. So you'll be learning from your teachers and professor in the classroom, but we also give you the chance to get involved in different clubs and organization. We give you the chance to participate in management opportunities and also in community engaged learning. So you'll get a well-rounded education that will help you achieve your dream of getting a good job. We have, we are a large university. We have over 29 students now. Uh, we have more than 200 programs that you can choose from and we also have graduate programs. We are NCAA Division I sports. And then another great thing about Weber State is that our classrooms are really small, which is a great, great, great benefit. Basically, your professor get to know your name. You can ask questions. You can really engage to the teachers. And the teachers will really pay attention to you personally to make sure that you're successful and you're supported every step of the way. I'm going to go um, over a few slides that kind of just show you um, a lot of the, our um, different colleges at Weber State and what majors you can choose from. So our Goddard School of Business is one of the uh, is accredited by one of the highest accreditation board in the United States. And one great thing about it is that 96% of students are employed by graduation. And you have a lot of majors to choose from, like international economics, business, uh, business administration, finance, accounting. So if you if you do want a career in business, this is definitely the place to to get a great one. We also have arts and humanities, so that's another great college if you want to choose like to study different um, different subjects. We have a really great um, college of education and here in the United States, uh, there is a really um, a lack of teachers. So if you want to be a, become a teacher, we definitely have that tool for you. We, we all know that COVID brought a lot of worries all around the world. And if you are looking for a career in health professions, our nursing schools and health profession majors are some of the most um, popular in the United States. And we really offer you a great education. So if you wanna become nurse, or if you wanna study radiology, respiratory therapy, or any other major in health administration, we are definitely the place to be. We have a social and behavior science college with a lot of social um, and science majors. And these are some just some of them like psychology, anthropology, criminal justice, political science um, that you can choose from. We have a college of engineering. So if your interest is in STEM major, we have a lot of majors that you can choose from like computer science, computer engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical, and many more other subjects in the engineering department. As I mentioned before, uh, we really believe here at Weber State that in order to get a well-rounded well education, you have to learn both inside the classroom and outside of the classroom. And we offer you a lot of opportunities for that. Um, our students, oftentimes, they go out in the community um, to get engaged with their teachers, with the community they help. They participate in different type of projects. So that would allow you to to be more social, to meet the community here in Utah and really give you a great experience when you're ready to graduate. So Weber State, you know, because of our small average class size, um, the professor really pay attention to the student. What I hear mostly from our international students when I ask them, what do you like the most of Weber? The, the first thing that I hear always is my professors. 
We have great professors here at Weber State and every single professor is interested in your success. They will support you and allow you to achieve your dream. Who we are here at Weber, we offer you um, specific support for all international student. students. We have an Office of International Education that is dedicating to just support international students, uh, where we you can come for any questions that you might, uh, might want to ask. If we don't have the answer for you, we will definitely be able to find it. We also organize activities for international students and we will guide you um, through the process of adapting to your education and your life here in the United States. So our international students here at Weber, they are more from, they're coming from more than 360 countries and we have more than 300 international students. So you'll get a chance at Weber to immerse in the American culture and meet the American people, but also you'll have the chance to meet so many other people from all around the world. As an international student, when you come to Weber, you are allowed to work on campus um, for up to 20 hours per week during your spring and fall semester. And after graduation, you can apply for a work authorization um, that can allow you to work in the United States for either one year if you're in a non-STEM major or for up to three years if you apply for a STEM major. STEM is science, technology, engineering, or math. So you'll get the chance to study here in the United States and you'll also get the chance to apply um, for a work permit that would allow you to, come, to work, find a job in your field um, and gain that experience. So when you finish your studies, you are ready to go back to Ghana and really um, show what you learn and go back there not only with an education, but also with a great work experience. We also have a housing on campus here that would allow you to be close to your studies and, you know, just to be um, there in the middle of everything, close to all the resources that will make you successful. We have two types of housing on campus. One is like a dormitory style and another one is an apartment style. And if you choose to live on the housing on campus, you can get another $1,000 um, scholarship for the first year. It's not mandatory, so if you want to live outside of the campus, there are also apartments building around where you can choose to live for. Um, so it's not really mandatory that you live on campus. We always believe that there is an advantage that we have on on-campus housing that really, um, especially in the first year, um, really benefits the students if they choose to, to stay in housing because they get all the resources and they get familiar with everything that is around um, available for them. So then that way they can be successful. So again, we believe we have something for everyone. We offer a lot of events. Our students always go to our sports event, like our basketball games, our um, football games. We have a lot of clubs and organization um, that you can be part of Part of it. We have a lot of activities that we organize for international students. We have a big gym that you can use, a rock climbing facility. So you really have everything at your fingerprints here at, at Weber Stay. And being in Ogden, it would also um, give you the opportunity to, to really enjoy the nature here. There is a lot of hiking, a lot of uh, bike paths, so you can hike, you can bike, you can learn um, um, winter sport if you want, like ski or snowboarding or try it at least. It's really fun. Um, and our international students, they love it, especially because it will be such a different experience for you coming from Ghana to Utah. You will really um, have the chance to immerse in something totally different. Our um, application process is all online. It's really easy and straightforward. And Adele will be happy to help you through that process. And we are always in contact with Adele and she's really good of, uh, you know, knowing the application process. And if there is anything missing, we always communicate. So you have that great support um, to allow you to be uh, submitting your application and be part of the Weber State. This is just a little bit of a cost estimate for one year. And remember, you can get a scholarship for up to $8,000. If you want to contact us, here are some information about, uh, you know, you can go and visit our website. You can send us an email. I also wrote my email in the chat box. 
So imagine the possibility, even SpongeBob graduated from Weber State. I'm just joking, but imagine that you could be here soon um, and getting a really, really great education. And then I have just a small video at the end. And this is uh, one student that came here for his undergraduate degree from Burkina Faso. And now he's studying on his MBA program. And it's just a short video where he's sharing his experience. I'm someone who has always been determined. And I'm someone who has a lot of faith. My name is Rodri Kisu, and I'm from Burkina Faso. I am a business major pursuing a master in business administration. My father was the initiator of me being here today. He wanted me to go study in the US. My country was unstable for decades. The education system was, was collapsing. And my dad is a true believer of education. He, has a, he got his PhD. That's why my dad said this enough is enough, you know, you gotta go. I wasn't speaking any English. I could write, but I couldn't speak any English. So my first day at school, I changed language on my phone to English. Every homework I have, I don't touch Google Translate. My greatest accomplishment is getting my bachelor degree. When I got here, you know, I got a lot of support. So I'm really grateful for those people who went beyond, you know, to help me be who I am today. For the future for me is going back. I think I can be helpful for my country. That's what I want. I am an example of what River State is. You know, going through all of this, what I have gone through, wasn't easy, but I can't give up. Never give up, ever. And keep, keep pushing. So I hope you all enjoy my presentation. Well, thank you very much, Iana. That video at the end was very moving. Um, yeah. A lot of Ghanaians are very familiar with Burkina Faso. And I love the fact that he started out not speaking English. And his English is excellent. And he seems to have gotten a lot of support from Weber State to be successful and looking forward to coming back home to contribute to the development of Burkina Faso, which is very, very inspiring. Uh, whilst we wait for comments, well, there's a couple of questions in the comments and um, definitely we'll take them. You want to take them now? Yes, absolutely. Um, so I see I'm going over the... I know the Mormon religion is very popular in Utah. If a student is a, a Muslim, can they free? Absolutely, yes. So um, I think the, the actually the demographic in Utah is changing a little bit because a lot of people, even from the United States, from other states, they are moving to Utah because Utah has a lot to offer. So I think right now the Mormon population is maybe at 50% or even below. And please don't get scared of it. Um, Mormon people are really nice, really welcoming. It's just a different religion. But they are more than um, 50 religions here at Weber State. So um, if you're a Muslim, we have a lot of Muslim students from Saudi Arabia, from Kuwait, from any other countries. So we are welcoming to anyone and everyone, no matter of your nationality, no matter of your religion. And we will support you to make sure that you'll be able to practice your religion here, that you have place to pray. So don't be scared of the Mormon religion. And actually, people are really, really nice here in Utah. And nobody's really going to try to convince to change your religions or anything like that. So thank you for that question. I think that was a great, great question. And don't, don't be scared at all. We are embracing diversity here at Weber State, and we are looking for anyone and everyone to join us. OK, you have another question. It says, what types of jobs can students have on and off campus? Sure, sure. So as an international student, you're not really allowed to work off campus. You can only work on campus until you graduate. Um, and all of our international students that want to find a job on campus, they are usually able to find on jobs on campus. So they might be office jobs, they might be cafeteria jobs. There are all kinds of jobs that you can find. There is a career center that will help you um, search for jobs. They will help you with your resume, with your letter of intention. So again, we are really proud 
providing ourselves in offering support. So in every step of the way, you'll have support here at Weber State. And about jobs on campus, and I this is what I think, you can correct me or emphasize the point. The focus of the job on campus is not to help you pay your fees. That Absolutely. is just no. to help you get some pocket money. Could yes. you put on that a little bit? Yes, the jobs here on campus, they are not really highly paid. They are the same pay for international or domestic students. Um, and they usually, exactly as you said, they will help you have some pocket money and also getting some experience, work experience, connection, making some relationship. They are definitely not jobs that will um, help you um, support, you know, have financial enough to support of your education. So you will have to have a background, you have to have a sponsor, you have to have a family, financial support um, that is stable. And it's really great to, to have an on-campus job. It's not required by any means, but don't think that that job could really provide a means for you to financially pay for your education. Another question, thank you for that answer. Another question is what kind of support and guidance can Weber provide for me if I'm not too sure what major to pursue? That is a great question. And the reason why is because um, in the United States, the education system is a little bit different. And in average, a students usually change their major at least three times during their undergraduate studies. And um, the reason that is different here is because at the beginning, in the first one year of two, everyone will take general education classes. So what that means is that you'll take some math classes, you'll take English classes, you'll take some science classes. So you'll have the chance to really dip your feet in different type of subjects. And that would allow you to kind of really determine what you want. You don't need to know exactly what you want to be when you are 18 years old. Even if you think you do, you might change your mind. You might start studying something and then you can change you know, one semester or one year later. And the education system here in the United States really allows you to do that. At Weber State, you'll have an, uh, an academic advisor that is assigned to you. And that academic advisor will be able to work personally with you to see what exactly you want to study and um, guide you on what subjects you have to take each semester. And you can always change your major. You can have a double major. You can add a minor. So really, the word is at your feet. Don't feel like you need to know exactly what you want to study um, at the beginning. You can start with a major and end up with something totally different by the time when you graduate. Awesome. Here's a question. Somebody's asking, can I get a waiver for the application fee if I'm an international student? Unfortunately, we do not offer waivers for uh, application fee. Our application fee is really very small, $65. And we believe that everyone should, you know, it's a work that we do to process your application, to review your application. And no student that applies, no matter international or domestic, will ever get a waiver. So unfortunately, the answer is no. So let me ask another question. When you showed the slide with the fees, you had the tuition and then there was $120 for international student fee. Is that also waivable? It's not, no, every student. So that is for all the activities that we organize. We give a lot of support. We have one international orientation at the beginning of semester. So that is just something that is included in the student fee. Okay, thank you. We have more questions in here. Somebody says he wants to know while studying if you have opportunities to work and you've addressed that already and you've also talked about what types of work concerning the scholarships what are the requirements needed to qualify so that's a great question. Our scholarship application process is really easy. You don't have to submit a different application for scholarship. Once you have your grades from your high school, um, your high school transcript, we can tell you how much scholarship you can qualify for. And we usually work pretty uh, close with Adele. She usually sends us the transcripts and we can right away evaluate it and tell them, yes, this student is can qualify and can get this amount of scholarship. So the process is really easy and really straight forward you don't need to submit any additional letter of support it's just based on your grades in your transcripts or if you took SAT which is not required but if you do we can also look at that it depends on the scores to determine the amount of the scholarship so let me ask a couple more questions and if anybody on the call has questions please type it in and I'll share with Diana 
So a lot of students will decide on whether they want to go to Weaver State, but they need their parents' support and guidance. So I'm asking this for parents. So how do how does Weaver State make sure or engage students, uh, the parents of students, to make sure that they are part of the student's journey while they are at Weaver State? So that's kind of an interesting question because here in the United States, once the students start being a student at Weber State, they are the only one that have access to their student record. I come from another country and I know the systems are different in another country and parents are usually much more involved. They can still be involved while their son or daughter study here at Weber State, but they have to have the permission of the son or daughter in order to have access to those educational records. So we can tell them general information if they want, okay, how is my son or daughter doing? But if they want to have access, what are the grades? Are they going to courses? They're not going to classes. What are they doing? They have to first, um, the son or daughter has to allow parents to have that access to education record. So when a student is at Weber State, he or she is an adult and will have to make decisions for themselves. If the parent wants Absolutely. to be involved, they that's, have that's to be involved through the student. Right, that's very important. And that's really something that helps the student grow into a mature person. And I can tell you that I came as a student, you know, as an international student from another country. I didn't know anything about the United States, about the culture, about the education system either. So there is a lot of um, um, a lot of steps to adapt to it. But we are here to support you through those steps. But it's definitely a great experience because it would allow you not to only get an education, but it would allow you to immerse in a different culture. It would really allow you to be um, able to grow as a person. When you go back to Ghana or if you're going to you know, go to another country to work, you will be able to really attack any challenges because you'll be prepared and ready for that. One last question before we wrap up. There's a question from Adele asking about oh there's another question that popped up question about ed, the scholarship most people in ghana take the wasi and not sat will a student with an average of c be eligible or be considered for scholarship at weber state yes absolutely so we do not require sat if the student take sat we can take a look at that for scholarship but it's not required just proof of high school graduation and from ghana taking the ysse that's the only thing we need and even if student has c all c's they can still get a scholarship they might not get the highest scholarship but they're still able to get some scholarship so we have four different levels of scholarship it's really 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 um rare that a student will not start with the scholarship at weaver state so one question about the admission process and how long it takes looks like questions are pouring in but how long does it take from when somebody applies to when a decision is made so usually it depends on the season when the students apply, but we try to make a decision. Once we have all the documents required for the application, the student will get a decision in no longer than two weeks. So that's the longest. That, so about within two weeks, they will know if they've been admitted or not. Right, right. Do, has Weber State ever offered a full scholarship to an international student? It's really hard for an international student and even for a domestic student to have a full scholarship. So I wouldn't want to crush anyone dream and says that we could um, because, you know, it's really, really rare. There is situation where, you know, you're going to start with a scholarship and when you are a student here, you can apply for other scholarship through your department or there are other private scholarship that you can apply for. But it's really very rare and very hard to have a full scholarship. Okay, and somebody's asking about the pandemic and how that has changed the way everything is. Are still students able to still possibly get jobs on campus, being that the pandemic is not totally gone? So yes, our school is it's slowly, you know, things are getting better here in, in the United States and in Utah in general. People are getting vaccinated and we actually had a combination of in-person classes and um, hybrid classes and online classes. So our campus were really kind of open, at least in some kind of manner. And students were able to get jobs, uh, maybe not as 
like before, things definitely did change a little bit, but we are hoping that by the fall semester, 85% of our classes will be back on campus and everything will kind of return back to normal. So I wouldn't see that it will be a problem, you know, moving into the future. And our last question, somebody's saying, if you finish complete school at Weber State, is it possible to work at Weber State? Yes, if you get a job in your field. So um, as an international student, when you graduate, you have the chance to apply for a work authorization here in the United States that if approved will allow you to work for either one year or up to three years in your field of study to gain experience before you return back to your country. So let's say you are a math major, right? Mathematics, you're studying mathematics. And at the end, you apply for the work permit and you get approved. And Weber State has maybe a math instructor or an opening so that can you can apply for that is of course no guarantee but you can get a job in your field of study anywhere in the United States once that work authorization is approved all right well thank you very much I'll let you have the final word to wrap up so we could we could uh, close our session Yes, absolutely. So again, thank you everyone for being here today. I hope you learn a lot about Weber State. Do not hesitate to contact Adele or contact me directly either way. We are here to answer your questions and make your journey to Weber State really easy and successful. So thank you. Thank you very much. You've been great, a great help and have a good rest of your day. Thank you, you too. And thank you everybody on the call. We'll wrap up now. Thank you, everyone.